again in this video art tutorial we're going to be drawing an emperor penguin so grab something to draw with and something to color with and let's make some art this episode is brought to you by artastickids.com if you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at artastickids.com. We're gonna be drawing a super cute penguin. Here we go. All right, let's begin with penguin's head. So we're gonna draw a lovely, Big, oh, that's brown, guys. Let's switch. <laughs> it's a dark brown lid. All right, nice big curving line up and over. And of course, you can use whatever you want to draw with. Any mark maker, it's up to you. You choose what makes you happy or what you have on hand. That's the cool thing about art. You just grab what you have. Don't worry about the rest. All right, after that, we're gonna draw one, two little arms up, kind of like curving letter V's. If you look, it's just a curving letter V. So if you can draw the letter V, you can draw a little penguin arm. And that's really cute. All right, we're gonna draw a curving wide U shape at the bottom. And then I'll bring those arms and attach Anytime I'm going too fast, just hit that pause button and hit play when you're ready to continue. Down at the bottom, we're gonna draw little feet by drawing one line out, zigzag across, and then back in towards the body. Up on the head, we're gonna make it an emperor penguin. So we're gonna give it one, two, three little curved, other details coming off the head. Just like that. Okay. Next, we're gonna give it a face. We're gonna draw one curving line up and over. Another curving line up and over on the other side. Now we're gonna switch things up. We're gonna draw another curving line up and under each of those eyes. Just like that. In each of those, we're gonna draw one circle. And then you can color in the dark of those eyes, leaving just those circles nice and white. Yeah, look at that. Okay, underneath you can draw little ovals for some cheeks and that way it'll bring some color into this design. We'll draw a silly little beak pointing upward. And then you can draw a curving line around and under the face. Give it a little belly and then you're ready to color. Oh wait, it's not standing on anything, it's just flowing in air, okay. Zigzag line in front. This is how we do some real quick ice. Okay, zigzags. Line down, about an inch. If you don't know what an inch is, it's about the width of your thumb. Yeah, look at that. I feel like the facts, some fact that I read somewhere at some point in my life could be at any point. So this is not even legitimate thing. It could be, but it might not be. You might need to fact check this fact. But, yeah, I feel like I read somewhere that an inch, the width of your, is your width of your thumb, I feel like that's a Roman thing. I feel like that's how the Romans would measure an inch or something. I feel like, I don't know. Could be wrong, guys. I don't know. But, it might be a fact. It might not be. Gotta fact check me, and then let me know in the comments. Is that true? I don't want to stop in Google right now. That'd be weird. Uh, actually, I could ask Google. Hey, Google, did Romans measure an inch by using the width of their thumb? 
facts happening and I fact check myself. We all learned something there. Let's get coloring. Yeah, you can grab any art making medium you want to color with and also whatever you want to use for colors, you can use those. And you can go ahead and color your penguin. And once you're done, your penguin is done. Well, that's it for this episode. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, Ms. Artastic. And if you create anything and share it online on social media, please, please, I would love to see it. So tag me at Ms. Artastic and I will check it out or join the community and conversation and use the hashtag, hashtag Ms. Artastic and I will check it out that way as well. And you can see what other people are creating who create with Ms. Artastic YouTube videos. Well, that's it for this episode, and I will see you in the next.